Hello friends in this part of PHP file system series we have discussed how to remove or delete files from particular folder or directory by using PHP script with Ajax query. So here we can easily see file under folder now suppose we want to remove file from particular folder so here we can see remove button and this button we have define remove file and class attributes so we can use this as selector inch query code under the attribute we have store complete path of file so inch query code we can easily get value from this it attribute. So for remove file we have go to index page query code and here we have write dollar document with on method and under this method we have right click event with button class remove file. So when we have click on file remove button then this code will execute. Under this first we have define path variable is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this method we have write it attribute. This code will fetch value from it variable and store into path variable. After this we have write action variable is equal to remove file. We will use value of this variable at server script for remove file from folder. Now we have write of statement and in condition we have write confirm statement with message like are you sure you want to remove this file, this pop up message will display on web page with ok and cancel button, so when we have click on ok button then it will execute if block of code otherwise no action will be taken. Suppose we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write Ajax request with first option like URL set to action.php. Here we have send request to this action.php page. In second option we have write method. In this option we can define which method we will use for send data to server. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send path and action variable data to server. Lastly we have write success callback function this function has been called if request successfully completed and this function will receive data from server. First we want the display alert message which we have received from server, so we have write alert with data argument. After this we want to hide file list modal, so we have write dollar with modal and file list modal with modal method and under this method we have write hide. This code will hide modal from web page. Lastly we want to reload folder data on web page so we have called load folder list function. This function will fetch folder data and display on web page in table format. Now we have moved to write PHP code for remove files from particular folder in action.php page and on this page first we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to remove file. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to remove file then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write of statement and under condition we have write files exists function and under this function we have write dollar post path variable in which we have store folder name with file name. This condition will check if particular file file exists in particular folder then it will execute if block of code. Suppose file exists then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write unlinked function and under this function we have write dollar post path variable. This function will remove file from particular folder which we have passed in dollar path variable. After removing of file now we want to send message to Ajax request. So we have write echo statement with message like file delete. This message will be displayed to user. So here our code is ready for remove files from folder by using PHP script with Ajax, so we have saved this code and check output in browser.
Friends first we have refreshed the browser for check updated output in browser. We have already seen when we have click on view files button then modal has been pop up with list of file of that folder in table format with with remove button. So when we have click on this remove button then we have received pop up message like are you sure you want to remove it with ok and cancel button. So now we have click cancel button and no action has been taken. But we have again click on particular image remove button then again pop message and now we have click on OK button after clicking on OK button we have received alert message like file deleted and after this modal has been hidden on web page folder information has been refreshed before remove this file there are two file in this new folder but now it has been display only one that means file has been removed from folder and we have click on view file button then from file list table there is only one file. In next part we will discuss how to remove or delete folder or directory by using PHP script with Ajax query. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.